how's this uh, pre-season been for yourself and with Eric Ten Hag in terms of the tactics and how he wants you to play? What sorts of uh, conversations have you had with him? Yes, it was a very good tour. Uh, the good thing also is to, to come here and see all the fans that are here in USA. And of course, we are working very hard. Uh, we are building uh, all the, the tactics for, for the season that is going to start uh, immediately and we have done a very good work. And you've been taking players on, skipping past players, winning a lot of fouls. Is that part of the game that, that you enjoy and is that, is that your style of play? Is that the type of winger that you are? Uh, yes, the, the wingers uh, all the time, he asks uh, us to, to go behind, to, to try to, to dribble and create space. And well, uh, the team was fantastic uh, in the pressure so that we can play all the time uh, near the goal. So that for, for us, for the wingers and for attacking players uh, is, is, is much more better because you can get the ball closer to the box. And yes, I think that we did a very good match. Unfortunately, uh, we can see two, two goals uh, near the end of the first half and then at the end. But well, in general, we, we did a, a good job. For Kundo, you was in control of the game in the first half there. A couple of mistakes. What was the manager's message at half time? Is it positive still that you was in control of the game? Individual errors cost us there? Of course that uh, the first 43 minutes we were very comfortable on the ball. We make a very good pressure and uh, the team was very good. But yes, he was of course angry because of the two of the two mistakes that, that we did it. and the two goals we conceded. And of course that changed a match and we had uh, the match in the control and, and in the end they, they win after half time. So of course he was he was angry but we have to continue to to continue to the game and, and continue to play the way we were playing. Is it like a normal game for Ten Hag? Is he treat it like a Premier League game, these friendlies? Is it does he go in the over half time at full time if the result's not right? Yes, of course. Uh, we came here to work to train hard and to and to try to continue improving the tactics and every every match is very important for us and of course we are preparing the 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 league that is coming the next weeks so of course we we are not playing uh, the of course they are friendlies but we take it so serious so we can improve obviously uh, you take the games seriously um, even though they're pre-season but a big part of pre-season is coming out and seeing all the fans um, in, in different countries. What have you made of the support for Manchester United over here in America? Incredible. Uh, of, also, the last uh, pre-season that, that was in Australia and all that, what, Man United fans are amazing every, everywhere we go. And of course, we, we are training hard and with the support of, of the fans in every stadium we play in different cities is very good for us and, and it help us to keep going. Most definitely. Uh, you're good mates with Guy Nacho. Can you give us an update, mate? Tell the fans that he's actually all right. We're going to see him in Dublin, our Old Trafford, next week. Yes, hopefully, yes. He's he's a very good friend of mine, and and of course, we are we are continue working together, and of course, he's he's good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you, Kondo. Football fanatics, get ready! The United Stand preseason tour is here, powered. By One Football, the ultimate app for live scores, transfers, and match stats. Download now. No one gets you closer.